Today we're going to look at a nice problem from the Norwegian Math Olympiad. And this is also known as the Abel Contest, after the mathematician Abel, who is Norwegian. And this is from 1998. And it's a two-parter. So we first want to show that if you sum all of the fifth powers of odd numbers from 1 to 2n minus 1, you get something divisible by n. And then, well, next we'll show kind of a similar result, but now we're going to sum from 1 to 2n minus 1 of the cubes, and we'll see that we get something divisible by n squared. Okay, so let's jump into this first one first, which we're going to, in fact, break into two cases. And the cases will be based off the evenness or the oddness of n. So our first case will be if n is even, which means we can write it as 2 times m. Okay, but in this setup, our sum looks like this. So we have 1 to the 5th plus 3 to the 5th all the way up to, let's see, 2n, sorry, 2n is now 4m minus 3 to the 5th, and then next would be 4m minus 1 to the 5th. And the important thing here is that we have an even number of terms in this sum. And, well, we're going to use that to pair these maybe by folding in the middle. So we're going to pair 1 to the 5th with 4m minus 1 to the 5th, 3 to the 5th with 4m minus 3 to the 5th, and so on and so forth. And since we've got an even number of terms in the sum, we get an exact pairing. So let's write that down. So we're going to have, like I said, 1 to the 5th plus 4m minus 1 to the 5th. And then next will be 3 to the 5th plus 4m minus 3 to the 5th, all the way up to, you can work out that the middle term will be 2m minus 1 to the 5th, plus 2m plus 1 to the fifth. But now let's put these all together into one type of thing using summation notation. So that's going to be the sum as k goes from 1 to 2m minus 1, but here we're just summing over odd numbers k, of k to the fifth. And then instead of writing a plus here, I'm actually going to factor out a minus sign. So it's going to be minus k minus 4m to the fifth. But why are we doing that factorization of the minus sign out? It's to use like a nice sum formula or factorization formula, I should say, which goes like this. If we have a to the fifth minus b to the fifth, that's going to factor as a minus b times a to the fourth plus a cubed times b plus a squared times b squared plus a times b cubed plus b to the fourth. But I guess importantly is that that's simply some number times a minus b, where that number is just this stuff right here. But in fact, we won't need that green underlying stuff, which turns into this box right here. But let's apply that to this object right here, this k to the fifth minus k minus 4m to the fifth. And observe that we get k minus k minus 4m. So that's simply going to give us 4m times, well, something. OK, well, let's see what we have here. So now we're going to have the sum over k going from 1 to 2m minus 1, where k is odd, of, well, 4m, which I can factor that out, times some number, which that number will definitely depend on k, but that's totally OK, because we factored a 4m out. But let's observe that 4m is exactly 2 times n, based off of our setup up here. So this ends up being n times some number, where that number is just, well, this number 2 along with whatever this sum here is. 
But being equal to n times something or being a multiple of n is the same thing as being divisible by n. So that clears up this first case. Now let's move on to the second. So if the first case was when n was even, well, the remaining case is when n is odd. So in other words, we can write n as 2m minus 1. But notice in that case, our sum becomes the following. So we have 1 to the fifth plus 3 to the fifth plus, and then in fact, here we have a middle term. And that's because we have an odd number of terms in our sum. So when we do a folding, we get this thing in the middle that doesn't fold into anything. And that term in the middle is 2m plus 1 to the fifth power. And then we get some things on the edge which look like this. So 4m minus 1 to the fifth plus 4m plus 1 to the fifth. So the ending point is a little bit different, but that makes sense because we're increasing n by 1. Okay, but now, like I said, we can do the same sort of folding, and then we just have this term, this 2m plus 1 to the fifth power term kind of all on its own. And that's going to give us something like this. So we're going to have 1 to the fifth plus 4m plus 1 to the fifth. That's because here the 1 will fold into this 4m plus 1. And likewise, the 3 will fold into this 4m minus 1, and so on and so forth. So let's see. We have 3 to the fifth plus 4m minus 1 to the fifth plus, let's see. The ones on either side of this should be pretty easy to figure out. So let's see, we'll have 2m minus 1 to the fifth plus 2m plus 3 to the fifth. And then finally, we've got that lone term, the 2m plus 1 to the fifth. But notice the 2m plus 1 to the fifth, that's exactly equal to, well, notice it's n to the fifth. So that itself is a multiple of n, which means uh, we're, we're good to go. All we have to do is look at the remaining terms. So let's maybe bring that thing out front and then smash the remaining terms together using some sort of summation notation like we did before. So we're going to do the same kind of thing. We're summing from k from 1 to 2m minus 1 over only odd values of k. And now it's going to look something like this. So we're going to have k to the fifth minus, and now it'll be k minus 4m minus 2 all to the fifth power. So observe, what I'm doing here is, well, I'm factoring out a minus sign, this minus sign right here, and then, well, notice that 4m plus 2 minus 1 is 4m plus 1, so that's this first term right here, and then so on and so forth. Okay, but now we can use the same formula that we had over here, but in our case. So observe, using the same formula over here, we'll get k, minus all of this, but that's going to give us 4m plus 2 times something. But observe that that's 2 times n times something, given the fact that n is 2m plus 1. Okay, so let's see where we get from there. So this is going to be n to the fifth from this term, and then plus we have 2 times n times the sum as k goes from 1 to 2m minus 1 of k odd of all of that leftover stuff, which we don't actually care the shape of that because, observe, we've got a factor of n here, a factor of n here, so we can factor the n out of the whole thing, and we're left with n times something. But that finishes this up. We've got this object as a multiple of n, meaning it's divisible by n. Okay, so we've done the first part of this problem. Now let's look at the second. Okay, so now moving on to this second bit where we're summing cubes. And now what we'll use here is a well-known formula for the sum of cubes of natural numbers. And I guess we could have used a formula for the sum of fifth powers, but that's less well-known. So here, in fact, we're going to use the following formula. So it's going to be 1 cubed plus 2 cubed plus 3 cubed 
ending at, I'll call it capital N cubed, is equal to N times N plus one all over two and then all squared. So again, that's a well-known formula, but notice we cannot like immediately apply that because here we're summing odds and this is summing all of them. So what I'll do is I'll add in the evens and then subtract the evens as well. Okay, so let's see where that leaves us. So we're gonna have one cubed plus three cubed ending at two n minus one cubed can be rewritten as one cubed plus two cubed ending at two n cubed. And then we have to subtract two cubed plus four cubed plus ending at two n cubed. So I guess we could have stopped at two n minus two cubed, but you know, that's sort of just as simple as this. There's no reason to do one or the other really. Okay, so now we can apply our formula down here to this first bit and then do a little bit of simplification on this second bit and apply it here as well. Maybe let's do that simplification. Observe that there's a factor of two cubed, in other words, eight attached to all of these. So we can factor the eight out of the whole thing and we're left with one cubed plus two cubed ending at n cubed. So let's do that kind of in the margin, if you will. Okay, so now let's see what we have. So this is gonna be equal to two times n times two times n plus one all over two and then all squared by our formula over here where capital N is two times n. And then that'll be minus eight times n times n plus one all over two and then all squared. Again, by our formula here, we're just capital N is a lowercase n. But now let's observe that we get some nice simplification. This n or this two will cancel this two, I should say. And then let's see, this two will cancel this eight down to a two. And that's because that two inside the parentheses is really four because it's being squared. But now notice we've got an n squared term here, an n squared term here. So we can factor that out. We'll have n squared and then left over inside, we'll have two n plus one squared and then minus two times n plus one squared. And then, well, kind of obviously at this point, we are a multiple of n squared, but let's maybe do a bit of simplification just kind of for fun. So let's see, that's gonna leave us with n squared. And then here we have four n squared plus four n plus one. And then here we have two n squared plus four n plus two. So I believe in the end, that'll leave us with two n squared and then minus one. But I guess when all is said and done, all we really needed was that this was a multiple of n squared. In other words, this object right here is divisible by n squared. And that's a good place to stop.